think about this, but all right. Um, first of all, it's nice to see everybody. Seriously, it's great to see everybody. Um, I'm excited. Uh, day one of practice. Um, I'm happy for college basketball. I'm happy for college athletics. I'm happy for Providence College that you know we'll have an opportunity to compete again. Um, you know, talking about our non-conference schedule, then the conference schedule that's out. It'll be competitive top to bottom. I'm excited to finally coach a very, very veteran team. Um, I like what our non-conference challenges are. And obviously the Big East is always a monster. So um, it's an exciting time for us. I'm happy and um, hopefully the Friars can have a, a, a great experience and uh, try to lead us to a place where we haven't been in a long time. The more energy on campus with kids on campus relating to the players? I think there is, I think there is a lot of energy. Um, I think people are excited that we're actually in person. Uh, they have an opportunity to see our men walk around and our ladies walk around and all the student athletes. But there is a sense of urgency and, uh, and there's a sense of togetherness that I think uh, everybody's enjoying. And you didn't have a normal summer a year ago. Can you just compare, contrast right now the feelings you have as opposed to last year where we didn't even have a schedule, mm -hmm. anything like that. We didn't know when you were going to even start. Just you know, how much do you feel that the preparation you guys did in the summer allows you to get started right here with a good, with a good space? It's almost like it's um, it's not 100% back to normal, um, where last summer was totally different because everything was up in the air because we were dealing with so many different protocols. Um, it feels comfortable trying to get back into a rhythm, whether it's recruiting, um, fundraising, uh, walking around campus, seeing all of our students, working out in the rec center, um, saying hello to people, going out to eat, preparing for practice a different way. Um, it feels somewhat normal again, and, and hopefully we can continue to get back to that normal seat. And you talked about uh, having a veteran team, but then again, you do have some new guys as well. Uh, how do you blend that? You know, guys who've played in some big time games at Indiana, South Carolina, and obviously a lot of guys who play for the Friars. Uh, how do you blend that mix? Well, you know, it started this summer. You know, we had an opportunity to have everybody here in the summertime. They got here late, late June, maybe. So we had all of the July to work in the first week of August. So the chemistry was there. Um, and you know, those guys, you know, when you have a veteran team like that, terminology is pretty easy for them to pick up. And you know, for us to blend that, let's, let's be honest, we're here to win. And you're gonna play the best players, the players who are reliable, the players who are dependable, and the players that can deliver, right? This is not Halloween where you put on a costume and you get candy. Just because you put a Friday uniform on, you gotta earn your time. And this is gonna probably be one of the most competitive years for guys to get on the floor because of how old we are. How good can you be? Um, how good can we be? That's a great question. I think that's going to be answered over time. I, you know, I don't want to undersell and I don't want to oversell. I think we'll be competitive. I think we'll be tough. I think we'll be connected. I think our, our fan base will enjoy watching uh, the product that I think our staff can put out there. Um, we're going to enjoy ourselves and you know, we're going to try to win every single game. I don't know how good or how bad we are. All I know is we're fun to be around. They come prepared. They smile. They're appreciative. They have great gratitude. And I think when you have those characteristics, you have a chance to have a good basketball team. Ed, what, 